Hello and welcome to another installment of Fast Daily Zip with me, Alicia. Today we're going to talk about cold sores or fever blisters. Cold sores are products of herpes labialis, also known as oral herpes. There are groups of small blisters on the lip and around the mouth. The skin around the blister is often red, swollen, and sore. The blister may break open, leak a clear fluid, and then scab over after a few days. They usually heal in several days to two weeks. Cold sores are caused by herpes simplex virus type 1 or HSV1. Most people in the United States are infected with this virus by age 20. After the first infection, the virus becomes dormant in the nerve tissue in the face. Sometimes, the virus later reactive, causing cold sores. In rare cases, cold sores can also be caused by the herpes simplex virus type 2 or HSV2. This can be a result of having oral sex with someone who has genital herpes, where painful blisters develop on and around the genitals. Herpes virus type 2 or HSV2 usually cause genital herpes. However, sometimes HSV2 spreads to the mouth during oral sex, causing oral herpes and subsequently cold sores. Cold sores are really contagious. They spread through direct contact, through skin contact, or contact with oral or genital secretions, like through kissing. Although the virus is most contagious when a sore is present, it can still be passed on even if you can't see a sore. HSV1 can also be spread by sharing a cup, eating utensils, or a lip balm and lipstick with someone who has it. In addition, if you or your partner get cold sores on the mouth, the HSV1 can be transmitted during oral sex and cause herpes in the genital area. Herpes simplex virus 1 can also spread if a person touches the cold sore and then touches the mucous membrane or an area with the skin with a cut on it. Mucous membranes are the moist, protective linings made of tissue that are found in certain areas of your body like your nose, eyes, mouth, and vagina. So it's a good idea to not even touch the active cold sores. If you do touch an active cold sore, don't touch other part of your body. Be especially careful about touching your eyes. If it's getting to the eye, HSV1 can cause a lot of damage. Wash your hands as soon as possible. In fact, if you have a cold sore or you are around someone with a cold sore, try to wash your hand frequently. Cold sores are usually mild, however in rare cases, they can cause complications. Dehydration sometimes occur if drinking fluids become painful. Young children are particularly at risk of becoming dehydrated. The herpes simplex virus can also spread to the other part of your body. This is known as a secondary infection. It can sometimes cause painful sores to develop on your fingers called with lows. They can also develop into bacterial skin infection and they can actually be dangerous for people whose immune system are weakened as well as those with eczema. For people with any of this condition, an infection triggered by a cold sore can actually be life-threatening. While cold sores are most contagious when they are oozing fluid, the virus can be transmitted to others even during times when you have no blisters. While the virus itself cannot be completely eradicated from the body, cold sores will usually start to heal on their own within a few days. But if they cause pain or make you feel embarrassed, they can be treated. Conventional treatments may include skin creams, ointment, or sometimes pills. Treatment may get rid of the cold sores only one to two days faster, but it can also help to ease painful blister or other uncomfortable symptoms. However, those treatments are expensive and only provide temporary relief. The irritating itching, burning, and peeling will likely to recur. Complementary homeopathic treatments, on the other hand, are known to be quite effective. They are holistic and comprehensive in nature and do not carry the same side effects and economical costs associated with taking antiviral medications on a daily basis. Herbs such as Echinacea can help grant relief from different herpes symptoms. Baking soda aids in drying out moisture from oozing lesions, thus making the blister disappear sooner. Lysine, which is an essential amino acid, may also be used to prevent an outbreak by blocking arginine that plays an important role in the replication of the herpes virus. Lastly, if you want to find relief from the burning sensation and manage flare-ups, try using a cool tea bag or a reputed brand of aloe vera cream. 
So if you have frequent colds or outbreak, don't lose hope. There are ways to naturally suppress and control the outbreak so that you may live a healthy and happy life. Take heart, there is still hope. Thank you for joining us in our continued discussion on sexually transmitted diseases. For more info and articles on herpes and other STDs, please visit stdzip.com. Don't forget to leave a comment, rate my video, and hit that subscribe button. This is Alicia signing off. Ciao!